Hi everyone, Johnny from WP Johnny here to talk to you today about the best Cloudflare settings. So uh, if you guys don't already know, Cloudflare is a popular DNS service that has CDN-like performance features. And then of course, because they manage your DNS, they are like the front line, the, the, the first proxy uh, for all your web traffic. And therefore they can also give you security features like the firewall and, and whatnot. Uh, and then on top of it, because they, they, their traffic, your web traffic goes through their servers before it hits your origin server, they can, you know, apply other uh, features and performances and, and things to that traffic, right? Depending on what, what you want to be done. But for today, we're going to talk about the most basic uh, Cloudflare settings that I like to put on all my sites. And I'll just kind of explain a little bit about why I choose the settings I choose and what I recommend for most sites, uh, most WordPress sites out there. Okay, so I have the overview. Let's scroll right through. Uh, I, this is how it came. If I changed anything, I don't remember. Purge Clash, uh, you can, you hit this if you, uh, I don't know, if you made some styling changes on your website, you changed some content or something and you don't see like, or you update an image and you don't see the updated version, go here, hit click purge cache. DNS settings, this will take you to the DNS settings page. I don't wanna go there yet. Under attack mode is if you're getting so much traffic, so much DDoS traffic uh, or fake traffic or bot traffic. Um, and you know, this is for guys that know what they're doing. They know if they're getting hacked, but let's suppose you do know that you're getting hacked. You're getting a ton of traffic hitting your site. Then you turn on uh, under attack mode and then what it does is it, it gives them like a captcha challenge right like they have to click something or answer a math question or some kind of puzzle uh, and then it lets them through so it just tries it just tries to prevent uh, those fake bot attacks from taking down from overwhelming your server and taking down your site okay uh, development mode you turn this on if you're developing your websites so what many people do is like they turn on their caching and then they're still working on their website and making changes and all that. And they go, oh, some, my, my site's not showing the latest version. So you can get around that by clicking development mode, which basically uh, just turns off all of uh, Cloudflare's caching features. So it shows the very live version. And of course it's a little slower, but it's showing it live from the server. That way it's like real time. Um, so that's that. Uh, the, the Kate Cloudflare has the domain registration service. Some of you are using it, some of you are not. If you're using it, you would see these options. Okay, active subscription. I use the free. Free is totally fine, uh, just fine for me. If you want, you can change to a paid plan for more page rules or, or other functions and features that you may or may not like. The zone ID. So this is used, um, some plugins, some cache plugins will use this so that they can purge the Cloudflare cache for you. That way, every time the cache plugin uh, is clearing itself on your website, it will also clear your Cloudflare, your Cloudflare cache. Count ID, uh, not sure when I need that. Pause Cloudflare on site, remove site from Cloudflare. So I, this is you know, just simple click options. I don't use that. Analytics, I almost never care. I don't look at this. It just shows how many requests came in, how much bandwidth, where the visitors are. And I think um, somewhere in here, it also shows like uh, where you've been hacked and, and what, yeah, what attacks it's blocked. So I, you know, this isn't like a real site. I, it's just a domain I use for testing purposes. Okay, here I'm on the DNS page. Uh, you, you guys mostly have something like this. You'll have the A record for the main domain pointing to your server IP. And then you'll have a www c name that points to the wp uh, for, that points to the main domain. So this would be the most uh, manual, you know, the most efficient way, so that you have fewer records to update. Some of you may have something like this. Uh, so like you see how I have a c name. Okay, it's taking forever. Come on. Actually, let me close this. We need as much real estate as possible. Okay. So uh, you can do something like this, www, and then of course the server, right? And here we are. So if I do this, then every time the server changes or something, I have to update www, I have to update this. It would be more convenient 
to just have it as a scene. Um, and then if you really want to nerd out on this stuff, if you really want to nerd out on this stuff, uh, you can go read up online where people argue about which one is faster, whether to, to use the www as an a name to, to set it as an a record or to set it as a, a c name record so it's kind of funny uh people argue back and forth about this they they really get heated about it um so yeah uh, yeah and i and i did it wrong dude what dns validation eric oh uh, okay well it's not letting me put it right now it's it's not oh actually hold on sorry Sorry guys, I'm I'm talking and I'm and I'm I'm making common sense basic basic common sense mistakes. Okay, so here, uh, so I have a, so I use a C name where it basically just points to another domain. It points to this. So then when I update the server IP, it just updates this one and it updates everything. FTP, sure, I could put the FTP as a C name as well, but you know. A lot of times for something like FTP, you may not want the, the proxy uh, or actually you probably do. Um, you may or you may not want, you want, you might want it off just for easier access uh, or that it's not blocking some kind of integration and, and blocking the IP. Um, you might also have a, a record for cPanel and same thing, you do not want to proxy that because you don't want your cPanel to like cache assets and, and content. Uh, it can break your control panel. So. Uh, you maybe you have Plask, maybe you have Direct Admin or some other kind of panel. I don't recommend to to put those on proxy. Now, what is proxy? It basically means you're using CDN's uh, performance and security options. So there's debates whether it's better on or off. You, up to you, but this is where you would do it. Now, the time to live. Uh, when do when does this get changed? Well, generally, if you know your con, you can leave it on auto. That would be safest, but if you know that your content is never, I mean, um, like your static assets, like CSS, JS, you're done messing with your site design, and you know your images don't ever change often, the longest time to live would be best. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If you know that these domain records don't get changed often, then the longest time to live would be best. Now, if you're preparing to migrate your, do your website to another uh, web server, and you know you're going to be redirecting this IP somewhere else. Okay, let's pretend it, it goes to um, uh, 321, 321, 321, 321. If you know it's going to go to somewhere else soon and you're going to be changing it soon, then you should probably change it to two minutes. And then that way it tells all the DNS servers around the world to, 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 to cache it for, for a shorter amount of time and it'll check back with Cloudflare's DNS server. Okay, custom name servers if you want. I don't use it. If you want to use it, use it. Uh, DNSSEC pr pr protects against I don't use this. If you want to use it, go ahead and use it. I, you, don't, you don't need to. Um, okay, are we done? Are we, yeah, that, that's it. I mean, there's other A records. I mean, you, you know, like if you're setting up your emails and, and they want you to put a certain key in there just so they know that to authenticate the server, um, other records. So, uh, you know, the, the quadruple A, that's for IPv6 addresses, but I will let you play with that. Let's get let's move on. Okay, uh, SSL. SSL, I use full. Uh, some of you are flipping it to, to full strict. I don't use this because I've heard, I never tested, but I heard that full strict makes your SSL handshakes take longer. So it increases the time for your, for your SSL handshakes on every request it increases their load time so uh, and then flexible of course would I think it allows you to use uh, HTTP or HTTPS I, I leave it on full that's safest edge certificates I don't do this I don't buy anything I don't custom order anything if you want because you think it's necessary go ahead I say for most of you, you don't really have to custom host names uh, manage the host name as so Nope, haven't done it. And then also you have to pay if you want to do that. Create a certificate uh, signed by Cloudflare. I haven't had to do this. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I haven't had to do this. If you want to, I guess you could, but I, I don't. Always use HTTPS. This would be safe. You know, generally now um, in this day and age, yeah, you could put on. But even if you put off, your your web server will probably read, you know, your HT access or your Nginx configurations probably already forwarded 
to HTTPS. Okay, this, uh, I, I would not enable this because in, in some random moments that if your SSL certificate breaks, your site will not serve. So I, I don't recommend this. Some people say, oh, but there's a 20 millisecond performance gain if you do it. That's fine, it's true. But just know that if you have some kind of issue with your web server and the SSL certificate doesn't generate, then this is gonna cause you a problem. It's gonna prevent, again, it will prevent your site from loading because it's enforcing strict uh, HTTPS. Okay, authenticate origin pools. I haven't done it. I clearly don't use it and I don't care. Uh, this, I leave it like here. Uh, some people, um, okay, so some people use, they may want this because it's more secure, because they have to, or because they're in a certain industry. But just know that if I put TLS 1.3, and I have a visitor because of their browser, or their device, or whatever. They're visiting my web page, and they only they can only support TLS 1.0. Then they won't be able to load my site. So I leave it on default. It's fine. Opportunistic encryption. I leave it on. Don't care. I'm not going to explain that. It allows routing from legitimate users on the Tor network through rather than exit nodes, improving the privacy. That's nice. I leave it on. It doesn't affect most people. Enable the latest version of TLS. Uh, why not? I just leave it on. I don't really think about it. automatic HTTPS rewrites. Yeah, I leave that on. I, you know, you you can have it off if you have some rare content bits of content on your site that can only load through HTTP protocol. Then in that case, you would have to leave this off. Disable universal SSO. You can you guys can talk about that later. I leave this alone. Certificate trans. I leave this alone. Oh yeah, receive an email. I, I don't care. Okay, firewall, event log. I don't really mess with that. Access, don't really mess with that. Speed, it's get to speed. So let's scroll down. Auto minify, JavaScript, AI, yes. If you want to minify these things, the best place to minify is from Cloudflare, in my opinion, because it's faster from Cloudflare server than to do it on your website with a plugin. This is why I never do it from my website with a plugin. If you have Cloudflare, do it from here and don't minify from your plugins. Uh, don't do it from your WordPress site because then you're slowing down your origin server. But it, again, and then if you're pre-caching, pre-building cache on your origin server, then okay, fine, I guess you could do it there as well. But I, like I said, I don't, I do it here, if I do it at all. Broadly should be on, just on, yes, on. AMP, I don't do it. I don't even use AMP, I don't like AMP, so I don't do it. If you do use AMP, go ahead and play with it and see if you like it. Rocket Loader, do not use this, do not use this. Uh, it breaks so many sites, or there's so many sites that appear to work and then three months down the line, somebody messages me, hey, something doesn't work and how do I fix it? And we'll pull our hair out, we'll go back and forth, tr you know, uh, testing all the plugins. And sure enough, at some point, I'll ask them if they have Cloudflare, they'll say yes, and I'll ask them if Rocket Loader's on, they'll say yes and then I want to strangle them, right? Um, you know, and another way, just, just so you know, uh, something, why am I going here? I'm trying to find any site. You know, you can find out if Rocket Loader is loaded on a site, by the way. Uh, if you go, la 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 la. Somewhere around here, you can see it'll say like Rocket Load, you know, CF Rocket Loader script, you know, it'll show in here. So anyways, that, that's, if you ever want to check that on a website, mobile redirect. If you have a mo if they're using a mobile device, they get redirected somewhere. Again, if you need that, use it. Okay, caching. This is where you go to purge everything. You can purge from here or from you know the main overview screen. Caching level. I use standard uh, because you know some people want Cloudflare to 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 cache. Uh, sorry. Some people try to like remove the query string from their CSS or JS files on their site because they they think it improves caching um, or CDN caching. It, Cloudflare can cache query uh, those query strings just fine. I put standard. If you want, you can put ignore or you can put no query string. I, I leave it on standard. If you want to, to read more on this, click help. Browser cache expiration. Okay, so if you know like you're never gonna change the information then you can you know try one or two days one one week or something like that five days and that way um, if your visitor 
like they visit their website, they download like the, SS, the CSS and JS, then when they come back in a week, they don't have to re-download it again. That's the idea. So it can speed it up. But if you want, leave it alone on four hours, it's totally fine. Um, that's fine. Okay, development mode, same thing. I've explained it already. Always online. Yeah, this makes sense. I would leave that on. And okay, workers, I don't mess with that. Page rules. So there's a whole bunch of guys out there that explain the best page rules to try to to use Cloudflare to cache your entire WordPress site, to cache the, the HTTP code as well. I, I don't like to mess with it. I, I, I feel like for some static sites, which would already load fast anyway, um, doing this, yeah, maybe it can improve page load by a little bit or by even a lot, but then it breaks something later on down the line. You realize, oh no, my forms, oh, I lost all the form entries. I, yeah, I think it's too much risk. I, I don't use it, I don't mess with it. If you want, go on here. I'm not gonna explain that in this video. Uh, network, okay. Um, hmm. Do I even get to? I would highly, I would totally join this wait list, by the way. I think this is so cool. Uh, accelerates your site. Why, why, is, why is that not there? Oh, I think it's on by default. Okay. I Clearly, you can see I don't mess with this. Oh, I see. It's a lot. Okay. It's, it's, all right. I don't use Argo. I don't find that it's a noticeable benefit or that it's worth what you would pay. I think you're getting such a tiny benefit because, yes, it improves your, your internet latency by 35%, right? But... Your latency might be like 100 milliseconds. To so to improve by 30 milliseconds, I don't know. I, I don't think it's worth it. Stream, don't use it. Custom pages, la 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 la, don't use it. And it looks like it's all locked behind the paid plans. Okay. Apps, this is really cool. Really, really cool. I haven't had too much time to play with this yet, but this is fun. Um, so, you know, traditionally, we would install apps like to, like to use a service, let's say like a chat app, right? On our website, because we want to chat with potential customers. We would install like an app on our site that would allow us to chat with them. And uh, you know, okay, there you go. We would install a plugin on our site and the plugin would have to load from our site and it would slow down the page load and all that. Okay, like talk to. But now you can go here and install it so it loads from Cloudflare servers. So that's really cool. It doesn't slow down your site. So this is this is like so much fun. This is exciting. And just very recently, they've started increasing, you know, getting a huge, massive number of apps. So I think this is just so, so awesome that, you know, to load it from the CDN instead, right? Instead of lagging your server. Okay, Scrape Shield. Uh, I guess it, it prevents, you know, other robots, prevents robots or people, you know, from, from going through your site uh, you know, linking to your images, right? Eating up your bandwidth or stealing your emails, copy pasting your emails to spam you, right? They have those spam bots. Um, that's pretty much it. So th these are the basic settings. <laughs> it, I, I know it sounds like a lot because I explained every single one, but really uh, I just, I turn on, I usually I turn on Cloudflare and I go to speed, I check, like I turn on Broadly, I might enable all this. And then I, I go to encryption and I might enable like, HTTPS uh, rewrites, auto rewrites, and then that's it, you know, and then I might just make sure the DNS settings are correct. But uh, usually that's it, it's like a two minute thing. I add a site and I, I, I flip like two switches maybe. And, and I use mostly the defaults and it's totally fine. So there you go, I uh, hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching.